Hey there, I'm Roger from MemberSpace. This video is a brief overview of how MemberSpace works. What we're looking at now is an example website I've created. MemberSpace works on top of your existing website to protect pages and content for members only. I've created a couple of pages already, and we're going to want to protect those pages. We're also going to want to create a couple of member plans that give access to those pages. So let's head over to MemberSpace and set that up. Okay, we're in our MemberSpace account now, and we're going to create a plan. Member plans give access to members to view protected pages and content on your website. We have different types of plans, and we're going to choose a recurring plan today. So we're going to go through and create a plan name. We'll select our amount. We have different currencies you can choose from. We're going to set up our payment interval. This is how often the member will be charged. We have some other options down here, but we're going to set up a simple member plan right now. So once you're finished, you'll hit create this plan. Once your plan has been created, you'll be taken back to this page where you can see all the member plans you have. Each member plan has a sign up link and you can click get sign up link to see it. And you can copy and paste that onto your website to allow members to join that plan and access pages and content. So you just click the copy button here and paste that on your website. So we'll go back to our website now and check out how that works. Okay, we're back on our website now. I've copied and pasted those member plan links into these join buttons here. So we have a free plan and our recurring payment plan. We're gonna sign up for the recurring payment plan and show you what that experience is like for members. So we're gonna click join. We'll enter our first and last name. Enter our email and password and hit continue. So we'll reach the checkout form here. This is where members can enter their credit card number and join the plan. So we're going to off screen, enter a card, join this plan, and then we'll resume once that's completed. All right, so we successfully paid and joined this plan. So we're looking at the thank you prompt that lets members know it was successful. They've been emailed a receipt and they can click access content to get over to their membership. Okay, we're on our website still, and we have this page set up called Course, and it's got our members course within it. So we're going to want to protect this page and make it members only. That way, when members join the recurring payment plan, they can access it. So we're going to head over to our member space account and protect this page. Okay, we're back in our member space account and in our member pages area. We're going to click Protect Member Pages and enter our page URL, which is Course. We're going to select Immediately and have this page available right away. For which member plans can have access, we're only going to select a recurring payment plan. We don't want the free plan to give access to our course. And down here, we have the option to include this page in your member menu. So if you don't want that, you can turn it off. We're going to include this page in the member menu so you can see how that works on the website. So once we're finished setting that up and we have our menu page title set up, we can click Add Now. Once your pages have been created, you'll be taken to the member pages area here where you can see the full list of all the pages you have set up. So we're going to head back to the website now and see how the protected page works on the website. Okay, so we're back on our website, and now we're going to try and access the course page, but we're not logged in as a member. So when we do that, we get blocked immediately, and it tells us that we need to log in or sign up before continuing. So if you already have an account like we do, you can just click this button. If you don't, you would create an account or just X out and be taken away from the page. 
So we take people in this example to the pricing page, um, but if someone had an account, they could just log in. Now, if they were already logged in, they wouldn't see that prompt. So if they logged in at some point from the member button down here, or they just returned to the site and were already logged in, they'd have easy access. But if they click it and they aren't, they can simply click log in. We'll use the account we just created earlier in the video. And now we have full access to the members course. And we also have it showing in our member menu here so we can navigate to that course at any time. And as a member, I have access to my full account where I can join other plans, edit my billing, and edit my profile.